The city is Pittsburgh and the stadium is Heinz Field. Welcome to this battle between division rivals from the AFC North. Pittsburgh gets ready for their battle against Cincinnati. They're lined up for the kickoff, so let's get today's game started. Number nine aims to kick this one off. Abraham back to This one is handled by Abraham. The first and ten will start the drive at the twenty yard line. First and ten. Watch your eyes. Wham, wham. Uh -huh. You can't stop uh -huh. me. Hand it off to the back. Burnside comes up Number to make the play the at the 27. Yard. You got to keep going to the run. You never know when there's going to be a great blocking ahead of you, allowing for a big one right into the end zone. Ball on their own 27. Ball on the 27 yard line. Holly in the backfield, throwing, and this pass is complete. Perry is there on the stop at the 44-yard line. When you have guys with speed that can get open downfield, it gives you the ability to run long pass pattern. But it all begins with the offensive line because they're going to have to hold their blocks a little longer because it takes more time for the play to develop. Hollings, the lone setback. They give it to the halfback. Perry comes up to make the play. And the 44. Hollings having an outstanding, consistent year, now surpassing a thousand yards on the ground. Ball on the 44 yard line. Ball on the 44 yard line. Keep it up. Let's ride, man. Here we come. Harrison sends a man in motion. They hand it off to the fullback. Miller is there for the tackle. I like how this big guy can run with the football. Yeah, and this fullback can do more than just get out there and lead block. Give him the ball and watch him rumble. Second and one. Ball on the 35-yard line. Regular. Tucks it away. They'll spot this one at the 28. Teams run in the middle about 80% of the time, and that's inside the tackle. So you have to be able to have some success doing it. This time, there was no problem getting it up in there. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. Hey, watch the screen. The Bengals come out in a 4-3. Looking for room. Going to spot this one at the 23 yard line. So that tackle was his third. Collins runs it through the middle again of about six. Second and five. Ball on the 23 yard line. No, one, one, one. Temple. The Bengals with a four man front. They soft, man. Hands it off to the back. Miller is there on the stop at the 16. And that game will get them a fresh set of downs. It was a great run. He saw his blockers create some room for him, and he accelerated right through the hole. First and this is the eighth play of this drive. The They're inside the 15. Yeah, you see me. On the 10, 10. Let's go. The Bengals there, line up in a 4-3. Huh? No stop, no stop that motor. Huh? He says Going ready. to the right. Carson is there for the tackle. And the three. To move the change again after another long gain on the ground. You know, I was talking to the coach the other day, and he said he wanted to emphasize the run a little more. And that's exactly what we're seeing. Three yards will get them six points. Holling, the deep back, looking for room, and he just got level. Can't get the blocking they need, and now it'll be second down and goal. Right. 
second it's and second goal. and goal the at the one-yard one line. Clear, clear. The yeah. Out of the eye formation. Goes to the end zone. Touchdown, Touchdown. Steelers. Quick connection for the score. Spielman comes in to attempt the point after. The point after is good. Great job moving the ball down the field for a touchdown on their first possession. I really like the way these guys came right out after you on offense. They made the right calls, executed properly, and put that one right in the end zone. This one is fielded by Wolford. They don't want to fall out of contention early, so they'll be looking to put together some kind of scoring drive on this possession. First it's and first ten. and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Let's go! Let's go! Let's do our thing! Let's do our thing! Dropping back to pass on first down. Gets the pass off, right on target to the wide receiver. And Brady Watts gets hammered as soon as he makes the catch. On the play. Second and four. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Steelers with a four-man front. Harrison goes in motion. On the carry. Price comes up to make the play at the 29-yard line. The defense held their positions and didn't let them get very far. So a pickup of maybe three. Third and one coming up on this play. This is it. Play football. Trailer sends a man in motion. They give it to the halfback. Setting up play action. Throws it. Just couldn't get that pass under control. It's very hard to be successful if you can't convert on third down. And it's very hard to convert on third down if you guys can't find a way to hang on to the ball. Offense couldn't get it done in the lineup to punt. So we have first and ten here. At the 35 yard line. First and ten. Cincinnati comes out in their nickel package. They go with a draw. Jensen is there for the tackle at the 41. Now they got to keep going at him. They can get that defense tired and on its heels, these games will get longer and bigger as the game goes on. Pickup of about five. Second, Second and four, four coming up here. On the, -yard line. Watch your eyes. Three, the Bengals yes. line up in a 4-3. Oh, Gray moves in motion. They're blitzing. Steps up into the pocket. Rosie powering ahead. Jensen oh, comes up to make the play. At the 36. The that powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Yeah, and you talk about putting some heat on your throws. This guy really let it go. First Ball on the 36-yard line. Ball on the 36-yard line. The Bengals come out in a nickel package. Hand it off. Sanford is there for the tackle at the 31. It's important to pound the defense with a run. Sooner or later, 
They're going to bend. So that's a gain of about five. Second and five. Ball on the 31 yard line. Will, will, will. The Bengals with a four man front. Hey, watch that screen. Closing in, trying something to the left. Incomplete. It looks like it's going to be an interference call. The only question is against Sam got there a little too early. Yeah, those guys were having a battle all the way down the field. So now, following the penalty, it's first and goal. No stop, no stop that motor. The last time they were down here, they scored a touchdown. Lops one into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. This is exactly how you execute the play pack. The quarterback does a great job of selling the run. And that freezes the defense long enough for his receiver to get open in the end zone for the score. The point after is good. After the touchdown, the score is 14-0. Steelers. Spielman is back and ready to put this one in the air. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. This one is fielded by Wolford. They forced a three and out on the last series. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Blue there, blue there. Play it! Another the counter play. Nixon is there for the tackle at the 37-yard line. He blew right through the defense. The offensive line dominated the defensive line there, and they sprang the runner. First and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. Going deep, drops the interception. He was in the right place at the right time, and that saved them from giving up a lot of yardage. Second and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Let's go, let's go! On the 10, 10. With the throw, pass ball's incomplete. Good push by the defensive line, forcing the incomplete pass. He hung in there. Didn't really have the time that he needed to make the play. The quarterback has to know who his outlet guy is and get the ball to him when he feels that pressure coming. Third and ten. Ball on the 37 yard line. Hey, D-line, watch the screen! Garrett is the deep back. Dropping back. With a deep throw to the right side. Going deep on third down, but he couldn't get the ball to the receiver. Number nine will come in now to punt it away. Abraham looks like he's ready for the return. And so the punt goes out of bounds. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 24-yard line. 
The Bengals oh, come out in a 4-3. Watch your eyes. This is the way. Let's go. A little misdirection. Sanders is there for the tackle at the 27-yard line. Collins, a very little help up front, maybe a yard or two on the play. Ball on their own 27. Cincinnati lines up in a 4-3. Setting up play action. And this pass is completed. Carson comes up to make the play. At the 44. A powerful arm brings them a first down this time. Not only did the quarterback show off his strong arm, but the receiver displayed some amazingly soft hands. A great throw with an even better catch is always an easy way to pick up first down. Everything you got. Cincinnati comes out in a 4-3. Pressure gets rid of it. Ooh, nearly picked off. Moore had his hands up. I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. That's a break for the offense. Second and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. It's on. The Bengals come out in a dime packet. With the throw, he hits his receiver. Good read on that play. He saw them drop back in zone and took advantage. That's the kind of efficiency that the coach is looking for out of him. Take what the defense gives. Don't force it. Protect the football. Those kinds of things. Ball in midfield. Ball on the 48 yard line. The defense lines up in the nickel. And off to the tailback. Jensen is there for the tackle at the 48 yard line. Not getting the first down that will probably bring out the punter. After one quarter of play, the score is 14 0. Steelers. Steelers. 14. The Bengals. Nothing. The team says what size. And we'll start with the second quarter. McBriar comes into the game for the punt. Wolford into return. He's waving for the fair catch. It appears they've gotten someone for holding on the play. Holding on the receiving team. Number 45. Penalties and takeaways are just as big a factor in some games as effective offense. The team that stays mistake free usually wins the game. First and ten. Ball on the two yard line. Throws it. Almost intercepted. Sometimes in zone coverage, a quarterback will throw to a spot where his receiver is supposed to be. That time, the only one there was a defender who couldn't make the catch. Second and ten. Ball on the two yard line. Watch your eyes. Keep moving. The Steelers line up in a 4 3. Go make a play. Let's go. Let's go. Looking for room, Gray comes up to make the play at the four-yard line. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. So a gain of about one. And they'll face a long third down here. They give it to the halfback. Is there for the tackle at the eight yard line? So we should see the punter after they fail to convert on third down. Number nine is ready to punt this one away. Abraham sets up, waiting for the punt. And a fumble. The Bengals pick up the fumble. The 30. They give it right back to them after the fumble on the punt return. I'll tell you, when you're returning a punt, your number one priority is to hold on to the ball. 
And your defense just made a good stand. And the offense is set to come in and make something happen. And you do something like that. And they have excellent field position now following the fumble recovery. Hey, watch the screen. Uh, have to get some points on this drive. And in good position now to do that as they're in the red zone. He takes the delayed handoff. Jackson is there on the stop at the 13-yard line. Fisher runs it through the middle again of about six. Down inside the 15. Ball on the 13-yard line. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. Price comes up to make the play. Fisher takes advantage of a little daylight. Picks up three yards. They need 10 for a score. On the 10-yard line. No more, fellas. Come on. The Steelers with a four-man front. Gets rid of it. Pass ball's incomplete. They won the battle at the line of scrimmage and forced a bad throw. Every quarterback needs a little time to look over the field. There we saw a defense who wasn't given any time at all. That's much more than an extra point here. The veteran kicks it through. Following the field goal, the score is 14-3. Steelers. And he got all of that one, a great kick. This one is taken by Abraham. Pittsburgh already leading in this one, sends their offensive unit back onto the field. It's first and ten. First and ten. Cincinnati comes out in their nickel package. Hands it off to the back. Hasty is there for the tackle at the 27. He's looked good so far. I just keep giving him the ball. Ball on their own 27. Ball on the 27 yard line. Keep moving. The Bengals with a four man front. He'll test the left side. Spotted at the 32-yard line. He got in there and made the tackle his fourth of the game. Usually on runs like that to the outside, it's a receiver and a tight end who makes a good block to get you those yards. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Bengals line up in a 4-3. Looking upfield, Jensen is there on the stop at the 36. If they can keep getting good runs like that in the second quarter, they'll be able to use play passes the entire second half because the defense will just be thinking about stopping the run. So that's a gain of about five. Ball on the 36-yard line. The Bengals come out in a 4-3. Brought down behind the line for a short loss. The defensive tackle stops him at the line of scrimmage. Ball on their own 35. But the man in motion. Throws it. With the adjustment, Miller is there for the tackle at the 49. They move the chains on the third down catch by number 83. And that's what he does. If you need a big third down play and you need a first down, you look for this guy. First Ball right around midfield. Ball on the 49-yard line. Here we go. The Bengals line up in a 4-3. Going to the right. 
Dropped in the backfield for a short loss. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. It's second down and a long way to go. Let's go, let's go. Cincinnati comes out with seven in the secondary. Gets the pass off. Dixon comes up to make the play at the 39. So they're able to pick up another first down. This offense is clicking. They're making the right calls at the right time. Eighth play of this drive. Ball on the 39-yard line. Holling lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Stiff arm to the ground. Crosby is there for the tackle at the 39-yard line. Nixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on. One-yard gain on that play. And this is the ninth play of this drive. on the 39-yard line. Keep the throttle down. Here we come. Cincinnati goes with a four-man front. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Get it off to the back. Great move to get free. Hasty is there on the stop at the 26-yard line. Holling fighting for yardage that time. He's able to reel off a nice game. First and ten. Ball on the 26-yard line. The Bengals come out in a 4-3. With the carry, they'll go with the play fake. With the throw, Sanders is there for the tackle. At the 8-yard line, Harrison fires it in there for a first down. So he really puts a mustard on that one. That's what happens when you put everything you've got into a throw. There's eight goal. yards from the end zone. The eight yard line. Their last red zone trip resulted in a touchdown. To carry it. And they'll score. Touchdown. Steelers. They had everything working on that play. The line did a good job up front. The back picked the right hole. And the defense wasn't there to make the tackle. Comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. Hollings was their workhorse on that long scoring drive, John. Yep, his wheels need a good rest after that. Spielman comes in to kick off. This one is taken by Wolford. The Bengals have their work cut out for them as they take over at the 20-yard line. If they don't want to go into the half down by this much, they're going to need some good throws and good clock management here. The Bengals will start the drive at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Get it, get it, get it. Only one man in the backfield. Trailer sends a man in motion. Driving back the pass on first down. Rowing. Incomplete pass. The defense forced the issue that time, John. The guys up front got good pressure. Forcing him to get rid of that one before he wanted to. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Keep the throttle down. Not today. Under pressure. Incomplete. And he throws incomplete because he had major pressure. The corner came on a blitz and he sprinted for the quarterback. Guys love the opportunity to get a sack. And that time he just missed taking him down. Third and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. 
Garrett, the lone back. Dropping back. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. Wide receiver has it. Number 96 is there for the tackle at the 32-yard line. You know what this does? It keeps one defense on the field. And it doesn't let him get the right personnel in there sometimes. Closing in. Throws it. Whitman pulls him down at the 44. What they're doing here is keeping the defense from huddling up. It keeps the same defense on the field. He'll pass on first down. Rolling right. Rowing. Right on target to the wide receiver. Every pass right on target as they keep moving the chains. The defense is allowing the receivers to get too far upfield on them and isn't making any plays to break up the passes. They're coming with the blitz. Gets rid of it. Jumps, and he has it. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Too many missed opportunities on defense like that will sure deflate your team. Clement comes in to attempt the point after. The point after is good. The offense kept taking and taking, and the defense kept giving and giving until they finally got the touchdown. He's just about ready to kick this one away. He got all of that one. This one is taken by Abraham. He couldn't stop them from getting into the end zone the last time out. One thing they want to avoid is turning it over and setting up the other guys with a chance to get some points. First and ten. First and ten. The Bengals line up at the quarter defense. Deep throw. Knocked away. Miller and the coverage on the play. Miller on the cover. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Stay both now. Regular. From the start. Only one man back. Keep the throttle down. It's a blitz. Throwing. They'll spot this one at the 38. And because his third tackle of the game. He's one of those guys who can really run. They have plays designed around him in their offensive game plan. First Ball on their own 38. Ball on the 38-yard line. Check it out, baby. Hey, let's go. Harrison looking to pass lines up with five wide receivers pressure with the pass this pass is incomplete he threw it a little too soon and it missed the mark the pass rush almost got to him I don't think he ever had a chance to set his feet I'll tell you one thing this defensive coach sure has his defensive lineman pumped up second and ten ball on the 38 yard line nothing they don't get nothing Cincinnati comes out with seven in the secondary Blitz is on. Gets rid of it. The 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown, Steelers. I'll tell you, this is nice work by both the quarterback and the receiver in this play. Watch it here. He reads the coverage, looks for the best option, and then throws it to him. The extra point attempt is good. 
John, they're starting to run away with this one, and they are clearly the far superior team. Yeah, and the last drive tells me that the defense is in for a long day if they keep playing like this. They need to find a way to at least slow them down. Spielman looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. That one is out of the end zone. The Bengals face an uphill battle as they begin this drive at the 20. And here's where efficiency is a key. They're down right now, but if they score before the half, it'll really help them out. They just can't afford a turnover that gives the other team a chance to increase the lead. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. They'll bring the blitz. Gets the pass off. Wide receiver has it. The Bengals call a timeout. They have two left. He brings it in for a big game. Almost every wide receiver gets better at running routes as they get older. And this guy's no exception. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. With the pass, and he hits his car. The Bengals call a timeout. They have one timeout left. Here's a no huddle. It's a good way to keep the defense off balance. Emmanuel in motion. Throws it. Nice adjustment. They're going to spot this one at the 19. He wraps up the ball carrier. His tackle total is now four. The Bengals call a timeout. They have no timeouts left. Heads out onto the field for the field goal attempt. The veteran connecting for the field goal. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. Number nine will be kicking off. This one is handled by Abraham. And this should be the last play of the half. The Bengals line up in a 4-3. Tucks it away. Keeps his feet with it. Jensen. Is there on the stop. It's the end of the second quarter with the score. The Steelers ahead of the Bengals. 28-13. Spielman is just about ready to kick this one away. Sends it sailing. This one is fielded by Wolford. This team is going to have to focus a lot more than they did in the first half if they're going to come back. Ball on their own 20. The Steelers come out in a dive package. Rolling right with the pass. 
Broken up. He felt the pressure and got rid of the ball. That's what the defense has been talking about. Make this guy throw it before he's ready. It's just that little split second early that can cause an incomplete pass or even an interception. Second and ten. Ball at 20 yards. No stop. No stop. That motor. Yes, right, man. It's a blitz. Fires this one deep. Nixon comes up to make the play. He's one of the most dangerous receivers. They like to get the ball in his hands because he can break a long one at any time. First and ten. Ball on the 41 yard line. The Steelers come out in a 4 3. They give it to the halfback. Lloyd is there for the tackle at the 35. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. You got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the opening. Second and five. Ball on the 35-yard line. It's show time, baby. The Steelers with a four-man front. Blue game, blue game. It off to the back. This one will be spotted at the 29 yard line. And that's now three tackles for him in this game. They called it inadvertent. You know, there's so many limbs flying and body parts moving around. You just tackle whatever you can and you grab anything that's moving. Sometimes you get a handful of mass. That infraction moves the offense into field goal range. Keep the throttle down. Bishop, the lone back. the handoff on the delay. Big pop that time. A big part of this guy's running style is to use the blockers to set up his cut. But they were nowhere to be found on that run. Ball on the 21-yard line. Ball on the 21-yard line. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. With the throw, broken up. Harris was his intended target. Third and eight. Ball at 21 yard line. Here we go. Defense lines up in the nickel. Trailer with a man in motion. Throws it in and out of his hand. He's a competitor out there. And he wants the ball in a pressure situation. And you can usually count on him to get the first down for you. This time, he just couldn't hang on to it. So this will be a 39-yard field goal try. The, field the kick down. sails through. It's good. Good kick there, and he's accounted for nine points of the total. A good start to the second half, engineering a drive that ends with a field goal. They would have liked to put that one in for a touchdown, but the defense clamped down, forcing them to try for the field goal. Number nine comes in to kick off. Abraham, good distance. This one is taken by Abraham. They'll Ball on their own 20. 20 yard line. First and 10. They have the lead, and one big reason is because they've done a real good job on the ground on first down. Not bad. And that success leads to bigger and better fights, usually. Gain of five on the play. Five yard game on the Ball on their own 25. Ball on the 25 yard line. Get it, Get it up! Cincinnati lines up in a 4 3. 
With the throw, it's batted away. He has a knack for making a big play. That was another one right there. Number 83 was the intended receiver on that play. Third and five. Ball on the 25-yard line. Harrison with a man in motion. Dropping back. Under pressure. Throwing. Carson is there on the stop. Some of these guys are like a train. They lower their head, keep their legs moving, and charge it straight ahead. Sometimes he'll even drag a defender 10 yards before he'll start slowing down. see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Second and nine. Ball on the 33-yard line. One back. The Bengals come out in a 4-3. Pump fakes. Gets the pass off. Perry is there on the stop at the 50-yard line. He completes another pass and is over 200 yards. First Ball on the 50-yard line. Ball on the 50-yard line. The Bengals with a four-man front. He gets the carry. Play action. Throws it. Miller comes up to make the play. At the 37. They throw it and pick up a second consecutive first down. Well, when you start to establish something, you want to keep it going until the defense finds a way to stop you. First Ball on the 37-yard line. Not today. The Bengals come out in a 4-3. Pull back handoff. Crosby is there for the tackle at the 35-yard line. They might not be busting off big games, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Ball on the 35-yard line. Ball on the 35-yard line. Cincinnati goes with a four-man front with the pass, and he ducks out of bounds at the 26. John, he's proven he's a consistent target. Yeah, especially in situations where they're looking to get first down yardage. First, first and 10. Ball on the 26-yard line. Cincinnati comes out in a 4-3. No stop, no stop, misdirection. Keeps his feet there. Jensen is there for the tackle at the 26-yard line. Nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackle. He'll move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. Hollings, the deep man. Keep the throttle down. Hey, watch that screen. With a counterplay, fumble. The Bengals grab the live ball. The 20, the 10, 5, dives, touchdown. A great run back after the fumble recovery. Lemon comes in for the extra point. The extra point attempt is good. They're going to try and force more turnovers. The offense should be aware that they're going to be going for the strip. They may be able to take advantage of their aggressive play.
Number nine looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Nice distance. This one is taken by Abraham. The defense caused a fumble the last time out and ended up taking it back for six. Right. First and ten. Will start the drive at the 20 -yard line. First and ten. Cincinnati goes with a four-man front. Hand off to the tailback. Sanford is there for the tackle at the 21. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. Ball on their own 21. Ball on the 21-yard line. One back. A lot of speed on the field from defense as they line up in the quarter. Hasty is there on the stop at the 26. Holling busted through for a few tough yards. Here are the numbers when it comes to third down conversion. This one falls incomplete. Dixon with the coverage. Now here's the punt unit as the defense forces a three and out. In the backfield, Trailer sends a man in motion. They'll bring the play. Sends this pass out of play. He didn't want to risk an interception and decides to throw it away. Second and ten. Ball on the 43-yard line. The Steelers come out in a 4-3. Salam is there on the stop at the 46-yard line. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. Ball on their own 46. Ball on the 46-yard line. Keep moving. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. Hands it off. They're going to spot this one at the 47. There's three tackles so far for him today. The ball carrier stops short. That'll probably lead to a punt. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. This one goes out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. All right, let's go. All day, baby. Come on. Hollings in the backfield. Give it off. Moore is there for the tackle at the 29. Holly takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Ball on their own 29. Ball on the 29 yard line. Let's run, man. The Bengals come out in a nickel pack. Pressure coming, throwing it away. And it appears they might have gotten him for grounding. They do call them for grounding the ball, and that'll cost them. If the quarterback is outside the tight end area, he can throw the ball away, as long as the ball gets back to the line of scrimmage. 
The Bengals come out in a nickel pack. Drops back. Long throw. He had a shot, but couldn't come up with it. Gray can't make the catch. And John, that's a guy who rarely drops a pass. Yeah, he has good hands. It's strange to see him blow a catch on third down. McBriar will come in now to punt it away. Wolford is back to receive this kick. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 42 yard line. They all on their own 43. First and 10. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. Gets rid of it. Incomplete pass. He read the single coverage and went for it all on first down. Second and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Only one man in the backfield. Closing in. Throwing. And this pass is completed. Bishop was down there for a minimal game. Ball on their own 43. Ball on the 43 yard line. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. With the throw, right to the back. Gray is there for the tackle. That's a 47. So we've reached the end of the third quarter with the Steelers ahead of the Bengals. 28-23. The teams are set for the fourth quarter of play. Ball on the 47-yard line. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Steelers line up at a 4-3. It's a blitz. Rolling right. Pressure. Throwing. It's batted away. The pass falls incomplete. They did a nice job up front with their bull rushes and rips and stunts, forcing adjustments along the offensive line. They have to do a better job getting off the ball and controlling the line of scrimmage. But they're going to have a tough time whenever they drop back to throw. Ball on the 47-yard line. The Steelers with a four-man front. Number 35 comes up to make the play at the 44-yard line. Just about a three-yard gain. They convert on the third down. They have to get it to the 37. I think this defense looks forward to these third down situations because they've been stopping them today. Close to a big play by the defense. And it probably should have been a big play. He had perfect position to get the interception. He just dropped it. Number nine will try to pin them inside the 10. Won't take a chance trying to return this one. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. The Bengals with a four man front. Harrison with a man in motion. A little misdirection. Perry is there for the tackle at the 37. Big gain of 17. So they have first and ten Ball here on the 37-yard line. Go low, go low. Let's run. The Bengals come out in a 4-3. Gets the call. Burnside is there on the stop at the 39-yard line. Ali eclipses the 100-yard mark on that carry. Right. 
Ball on their own 39. Ball on the 39 yard line. Watch him man. The Bengals come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. He hits his receiver. Harry is there for the tackle at the 41. Watch this hit. He gets his helmet right under his chin and wham, he takes him straight to the turf. Throws it. Great effort up front to put the pressure on. And you see that kind of thing out of these guys a lot. They're big and they're strong and they're fast. Opposing offensive lines sure have their hands full when they get out in this field. McBriar comes into the game for the punt. Wolford is the deep return man. And he signals for the fair catch. This is one of those spots where they have to put something together because they're just running out of time. First Ball on their own 19. Ball on the 19-yard line. On the 10, 10. Come on! Hands it off. Price comes up to make the play at the 21. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. Six second down and eight to go. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. Sheds the tackle. Salam is there for the tackle at the 26. They should pick up some tough yards there. Third and three. Ball on the 26 yard line. Crosses it left. William comes up to make the play at the 21. Trying to pick up the first down on the ground. But they're short. I have to question that call. They're losing the game, and they aren't in field goal room. But they still run the ball. Very solid defensive effort to force the three and out. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 36 yard line. All on their own 36. The drive at the 36 yard line. First and 10. Here we go. He'll pass on first down. Under pressure. Gets rid of it. Pass ball's incomplete. incomplete. Yeah, he put his helmet in there and he made contact with the ball. Sanford was there on the coverage. Second and 10. Ball on the 36 yard line. Watch it. Only one man in the backfield. With all day to throw. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. He finds his man. Hunt picks up about four yards on that play, so they'll be looking at third down. Ball on their own 39. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Bengals come out in a nickel package. Closing in with the throw. He was tipped. Great position and great reaction made that play happen. Perry had the coverage on the play. McBriar is ready to pump this one away. Wolford lines up deep for the punt return. From the 26-yard line. 
We've got a good one going here today. Ball on their own first. Start the drive at the 30-yard line. First and 10. Fisher in the backfield. Gives the ball off. Whitman is there on the stop at the 32. One yard gain on that play. Second and eight. Ball on the 32 yard line. Play football. The Steelers come out in a 4 3. Jackson comes up to make the play at the 39. Bishop running hard, going right through the arm tackles. As they get ready for this third down play, we'll take a look at how they've done today. They line up in the I formation. Hand it off. Gray brings him down, but they get enough to move the chains. He picked up the first on that carry. First Ball on their own 42. Ball on the 42-yard line. Let's go, D. Let's go. Ball up. Bishop, the lone setback. Pressure, throwing. Almost picked off. Number 81 was the one they were trying to get the ball to. With, with the coverage. Second and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Bishop, the lone back. Watch your eyes. A little misdirection. Salah comes up to make the play. At the 45, Bishop runs it for about three on the counter play. Ball on their own 45. Ball on the 45-yard line. The Steelers come out on a nickel pack. Rowan, the 40. Number 35 is there for the tackle at the 26-yard line. This is a guy who comes to play, and he seems to make big catches when they really need him. This time, they needed to convert on third down, and he's there for the reception and the first down. With the pass, he finds his man. Salah pulls him down at the 23-yard line. Passing on first down is a way of keeping the defense off balance. If you're successful, it could set up big runs on first down or any typical passing situation. And a pickup of about two. Two minutes to go. Ball on the 23 yard line. Watch this! We're talking about Williams! The Steelers with a four man front. They give it to the halfback. Williams comes up to make the play. At the 20. He's trying to hurry them back to the line. They're coming with the blitz. Under pressure, throws on the run. Number 35 is there for the tackle. At the one. So after that nice catch and run, here's a look at his stats. Dropping back. Pressure coming to the end zone. Nearly intercepted. Dropped in the end zone, so the offense still has possession. That's the last thing you want as a defender, to have the ball go right through your hands in the end zone. It's second and goal at the one-yard line. Split backs is gone. Trailer sends a man in motion. Looking for the goal line. Drop in the backfield for a short race. Big tackle there for Lawson. Great pursuit there, John. You can say that again. 
He knows how to prepare. And it really pays off when you make stops like that. Throws to the end zone. Catches it. Touchdown, Touchdown Bengals. Bengals. Excellent composure in the pocket. He gives them the lead here in the fourth. Much better to lead by three than two, so they'll keep the offense on the field and try for the two-point conversion. A little misdirection. The two-point try is no good. Just about ready to kick this one away. Abraham back to return. Nice kick. Plenty of distance. This one is taken by Abraham. You know, they only need a field goal, so the defense needs to make sure they don't fall asleep here. Pittsburgh will start the drive at the 20 yard line. First and 10. With the pass, drops the interception. What the defense is doing is they're watching the quarterback's eyes. They're cluing. They're in position so that whatever happens, the ball is in front of them. And that time, it almost got him an interception. Second and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Let's go, let's go. The Bengals with a four man front. The rush is on. Closing in. Rosen. Carson has it. Harrison throws that one right to the defense, John. Yeah, he thought he had his man, but the defender was able to make that one move to get position, and it was over. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. Give it to the halfback. Sanders is there for the tackle. After that turnover, here's how both teams are doing in that department. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 19-yard line. The Steelers line up in a 4-3. Salon is there on the stop. Fisher battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pick. It's third down now to convert. They have to get it to the 13. He tucks it away. Salon is there for the tackle at the 15-yard line. Fourth down upcoming, but they're in position to add to their lead. Yeah, and that's what they wanted to do. Control the ball and the clock. They're getting into position to add at least three points. So this field goal attempt will be from about 33 yards away. The kick is good. Big field goal there puts them up by more than three. Comes in to kick off. Squib kick short. This one is taken by Abraham. The Steelers can't afford to waste much time as they take off at the 21. Time is a factor, but I think they could still use the middle of the field. Right. First and 10. Ball. 
Cincinnati comes out in their nickel package. They're coming with the blitz. Throwing. And he makes the grab. Receiver running and breaks free. He's calling everyone up to the line of scrimmage. Pressure gets the pass off. The defenders got it. Harrison picks the wrong spot to throw to, and it'll be a turnover, John. Yep, sometimes you think you can sneak one by, but then the defense makes a great play on the ball and beats your receiver to it. They don't need to run any type of play here. The quarterback can just go with a kneel down. Taking it. Let's go now. Hey, right, let's go. Get it up. Watch your eyes. Yeah, go. Uh -huh. Defense, get ready. Let's run. Let's go, B. Let's go. Uh -huh. Do something. Do something. Uh -huh. Let's go. It's uh -huh. on. Bring it up. Bring it up. Uh -huh. We're coming to rest. Uh -huh. Let's turn it up, B. One of those games you hate to see in. A lot of fun. Fans had a great time and less than one touchdown, the margin of victory. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.